Hi guys, today I'm here with an empties video showing you everything that I finished up lately. Primarily hair, body, and skincare is generally what we cover the occasional time we have makeup in here, but let's be honest, I do not finish makeup very often. So let's go ahead and get started. A hair product that I didn't expect to love, that I completely finished and then repurchased is from Kristen S. This is their frizz management cleansing conditioner. It says it's for all hair types uh, or all curly hair types which generally in my opinion kind of like scares me away because I'm like oh, curls are so different but it says it's frizz controlling humidity combating moisture reviving and it's a low sudsing co-wash so I discovered co-washes or cleansing conditioners probably about a year and a half two years ago and because I wash my hair quite often I started using these instead of using shampoo and conditioner every time which can be a little bit harsh on your curls but when I want my curls to look their best I always like to wash them so sometimes I end up washing my hair several times in a week even if it's not ideal and when I started going on vacation I've actually started taking a co-wash with me as well because I don't need to uh, shampoo my hair more than once a week by far so having a co-wash cuts down on my products and basically it's, it's it's exactly that I think I've explained it before but it's a cleansing conditioner it's not a two-in-one shampoo conditioner it's more of a conditioner than it is a cleanser I can still detangle my hair but it leaves my hair feeling soft and clean this one is a great price if you live in the United States you can pick it up at Target and for my Canadian friends it is available on well.ca and I think it's about $14.99 or so and I've really loved a lot of this I've also repurposed just her curl definer and uh, yeah it's a great brand and I really really love this co-wash and co-washes you can find them in beauty supply stores in Toronto but I know when I lived in Newfoundland I could only go to Sally Beauty so I'm glad to see more co-wash options popping up for us Canadians it's still not completely readily available but we're getting there a cleanser for my face that I finished up is the it cosmetics confidence in a cleanser this is for all skin types it is the skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum I really really like this the confidence in a cream is that what it's called is really popular I don't think I ever tried that but I recently started using the confidence in a gel cream or in a gel that's a great lightweight moisturizer and I really like the eye cream counterpart to this I think this is a really great cleanser it's nothing for me to like super call home about or call home about I guess um, but it is really nice it's hydrating without being too heavy on the skin and I always recommend removing your makeup first then going in with your cleanser so that your cleanser actually hits your skin and cleans your skin as opposed to removing your makeup and not necessarily cleaning your skin and you're gonna leave um, kind of residue so it is a really nice kind of balanced cleanser a body moisturizer that I finished up is from Nivea and this is the Nivea care intensive nourishment non greasy cream uh, and this really reminds me like growing up my grandmother always had the Nivea cream around in the blue tin I can't remember if this has the same scent yeah yeah it has pretty much the same scent wow brings me back I can still remember the taste of Nivea because I would take that at night before Laneige lip sleeping mask entered my life many moons ago I would take the Nivea and like slather it all over my lips like make my lips white and I would I would literally not eat it on purpose but it would enter my mouth and I could taste it and I Ugh, I still remember that but anyways if you enjoyed the original Nivea you'll really enjoy this this however the original Nivea was much more thick and emollient this is as it says non greasy it's a great simple moisturizer not really any bells and whistles there but I will say I have been loving I liked this but I love their new oil infused moisturizers I've been using the cherry blossom one and it's great I love my Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, body moisturizer as well that's super light but the Nivea is kind of a step up so I love the Neutrogena you know one for the day and then in the nighttime I've been using the Nivea uh, the other one and that is a really beautiful line two really good body moisturizer so I like this one but I like myself a couple bells and whistles so I think I prefer the oil infused over this one I've got a couple sheet masks here I've been trying to get through my sheet masks I I've said this before and I love sheet masks and I love that they give a really nice light hydration but I find that I reach for other masks over sheet masks sometimes because I like to do stuff while I mask and a lot of the time I feel like kind of like I can't do anything while I'm masking so the first one that I have here I've spoken about I think I've spoken about this one specifically before it's the Neutrogena deep clean purifying hydro gel mask so it's not really a sheet it is that kind of hydro that kind of gel texture and what I like about this one is it's specifically made for purifying the skin when you think about sheet masks for the most part they're generally all about hydration which is good and most of them are still great for oily acne prone skin because they have such a light hydration but I like that this one is made for purifying the skin it has C 
seaweed extract in there uh, gives your skin like makes it feel instantly soothed and refreshed so if you have acne and if you have like I know when I had really bad cystic acne I kind of just wanted something that was hydrating and light on my skin but a hydrating mask that you get out of a jar would be too heavy this is perfect it is so so soothing but still hydrating uh, then from speaking of Laneige oh I mentioned them a little while back now but this is the water pocket sheet mask and this is like an intense sheet mask uh, this is a Korean brand it is Korean right it's not just Korean inspired yeah yeah, made in Korea uh, and they make beautiful hydrating products I mean I've talked about Laneige to death and Neutrogena but this is a really gorgeous sheet mask and I will say this is one that you can wear and do other stuff I feel like the Neutrogena one you can too but this one sticks to your face even more super hydrating but again super light and then the other one that I used is the hydrating water sheet mask if I remember correctly this had so much liquid in it which is good don't forget to take the liquid down your neck oh i rubbed it i think literally on my entire body because there was so much liquid in here uh so don't let that liquid go to waste like just rub it all over any space that you can find but these were all uh all really great sheet mask options some more light hydration from skin fix this is their coconut water hydrating mist i know that they've kind of re uh redesigned the majority of their line and they are now available in sephora but i can't remember if i've seen this in the new line if it still exists i believe it does uh, it's dermatologist recommended coconut cucumber rose water to hydrate and refresh the skin so mists are all the rage skin fix is a great brand if you have a particularly sensitive skin type or if you're sensitive to ingredients or you'd like to keep your ingredients more clean and on the natural side uh, this has cucumber cucumber <laughs> i was reading rooibos as i was saying get cucumber rooibos uh sandalwood apple melon cucumber so not necessarily if you're particularly uh sensitive to scents it isn't fragrance free but I have no issues with scents and it's a really, really light, uh, light scent, beautiful hydrating product. This is the kind of thing I would either use as makeup prep or I just kind of kept it around and just would spray my face with it during the day. Again, feels like water essentially, but has some good hydrating ingredients in there. So if you need a little refresh or you're looking to hydrate without actually putting anything heavy on your skin, this is a really good option. I finished up this micellar water from CeraVe and I love everything they do, but this for me was the one miss and I want to just double check that I'm right on this because the reason I didn't like this was I didn't like it on my eyes. So I would still recommend this as a micellar for your face and I say that because it has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid in there, non-drying, paraben free, fragrance free, which is all amazing for your skin and CeraVe does amazing skincare. But the reason I didn't like this was it burned my eyes. So maybe I wasn't supposed to use it on my eyes and it's my own bad, no to remove eye makeup hold cotton pad over closed eyes so for me my preference on a micellar and a makeup water makeup remover is something that I can use on both my face and my eyes and I didn't find this was the case so I still completely used it up I still really like it I still would use it again but I do dock points because I cannot use it on my eyes which kind of makes sense because it is something that's for more oily skin uh, and you are getting those ingredients that are good for oily skin so if they didn't advertise it as being good for the eyes and just said it was good for the face then I wouldn't have to dock any points but if you are picking this up thinking you can do double duty with it for me it burned my eyes for you it may not be the case um, but just something to keep in mind if you do pick it up otherwise it is a good micellar water and especially if you want to use it in the morning time that's how I use micellars a lot and that's how I ended up using this one is instead of actually washing my face with hot water and a cleanser I would do uh, a micellar water and this is a good one for that so don't hate it but just don't put it on your eyes finished up a body wash and I love a good body wash like finding a good scent or a good texture just really can make or break a day. Well, maybe not break a day, but I can really start your day off right, we'll say. So I really love this one from L'Occitane. This is their uh, almond shower oil. I was gonna say amand, but I'm just gonna butcher it. I said it anyways. Uh, this is beautiful. This is something that has been uh, talked about forever on YouTube. And I always thought it was a straight up oil, which kind of made me stray away from it, which is also what makes me stray away from all of the like body oils and glitters that are out right now, because for me, I just feel like I'm a regular person and I don't need a glittery oil. Like as much as they're beautiful and they look so good on Instagram, like I'm not, I don't wanna get that all over my clothes. It's gonna make a mess. Like that's why I love my MAC Prep and Prime with a little bit of shimmer in there because it's basically water with shimmer. So it gives me that glow without the oiliness. 
But anyways, that's totally off track. Um, this is a beautiful body wash. If you've never heard anybody say it, it's not actually a full on oil. It's like an oil body wash hybrid. So it makes it super hydrating. It was great for the winter, but I've been using it into the summer as much as I can. Uh, it has a really beautiful scent and I'm pretty sure you can actually buy refills for this packaging. So I'm gonna have to look into that, which uh, I think is super cool. It's cleansing and softening, has a great smell. It smells like almond oil, so it's kind of not like a super fruity scent, which is generally what I will go, what, what I go for in terms of a body wash, but super, super hydrating. Uh, Cause some body washes I've used, although they have smelled good, they didn't necessarily leave my skin feeling good. And I feel like this actually leaves my skin uh, feeling hydrated. And I used up the body butter that came with it as well a little while back. You would have seen that in an empties video. And that was a delight as well. Another makeup remover that I want to talk about that I absolutely loved. I included this in my favorite makeup removers video is the Origins Original Skin Cleansing Makeup Removing Jelly with Willow Herb. This is such an interesting texture and if you've wanted to get into kind of like the double cleansing game where you're using a product to remove your makeup and then a cleanser and you have oily skin and you were kind of hesitant to get into like the cleansing balms or the cleansing oils, you feel like it might be too heavy on your skin, this is where you gotta go. It's like this jelly texture that kind of turns into like an oil once you rub it in your face. So your face should be dry. If you're using a cleansing balm, an oil or something like this, your face should be dry. Then you rub it on your face, move it around. Then you start introducing water because it'll start to break break down the makeup. If you introduce water too soon, uh, it won't work properly. But I love the texture of this. It's super light. Uh, it's super, super effective. This whole line is really gorgeous from Origins. Their mattifying moisturizer is great. The mask is great. Uh, but this I felt was like a really interesting and unique texture. And I really, really loved it. And I'm honestly sad it's gone. Another product that I'm sad is gone, but I have since repurchased is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. Actually, I know they've sent me more too, but I know I bought another one for NEMS for Valentine's Day that I think I hijacked. But this is the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. As I mentioned, Nems loves it as well. It is our favorite lip balm. It's his favorite lip balm. Because uh, I was trying to get him into a lip balm. I'm like, you need to you need to put something on those peckers there. So he really likes this one and I love it too. It's 22 bucks, so not cheap, but also not like way up there in terms of price. It does have kind of like a bigger uh, circ circumference there, I guess, because it's supposed to get like the outer edges of your lips too, because those can get dry and show signs of aging. You can also use it as an eye balm. I've never used it like that before, but between Nems and I, we've gone through probably two, if not three of them in the past year, and I will definitely continue to repurchase it. I love it so much, and it's an absolute staple for me. If you saw my most recent hair care video, I'll link to that down below. It's kind of like a curly hair routine. I was using up the last of this. It is the Voir a Walk in the Sun Luxury Hair Oil. This is a Canadian brand. You can pick it up on well.ca for my Canadians. It has a combination of jojoba, avocado, and rosehip oil. I've been using just straight avocado oil in my hair, recently and really liking that but I loved this blend as well it's a nice oil if you have um, a lighter hair texture you could probably use this to add a little bit of shine and just use a little bit but if you have a curly hair like myself it does a good job hydrating adding shine reducing frizz and I've used it both when my hair was wet and dry I prefer using hair oils when my hair is wet because uh, I find it really helps with the frizziness but I thought this was great and I always love to give a shout out to a Canadian brand and if you didn't uh, see it I actually did a full face of Canadian born brands and Canadian exclusive brands on um, Tuesday's video if you miss that so I will link to that down below but there you have it those are my empties as always fill me in below and let me know what you have finished up lately if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye